All right, we're gonna do a quick little video. This here is a Eaton M90 fifth generation supercharger. And I'm gonna show you how to tear it down real quick. And to do that, we're gonna need a T40 Torx, a Telemann 10 millimeter socket, a pair of pliers, and a Phillips screwdriver. And I got my hammer too, for instance, you're stuck. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take off the cone. You can do that by You see you took out the eight bolts in there. Now the nose cone is ready to come off. Where it's gonna split is right here. In this front crease right here. That's where it's gonna split at to take the cone off. Because back here, you have gears that are holding on right in there. And it's not gonna split out of there. So, in order to get a split, what I do is I take my hammer and I just ever so slightly tap it and it pops right off all right then you take this coat off be very careful if you have a drain the oil because it is some seriously nasty smelling shit yeah, there's a cup there's your coupler between your nose and the gears for your charger for the blades everything looks pretty feels pretty good my coupler looks good so So to come back there, next next piece is to take these gears off, which comes off with the blade. So you flip it over, and then after that, you knock off the gears and the blades are all one piece. So you take a punch, or in this case, my extension that I've used many times as a punch and you go on the inside of the back of this piece here let's see if I can show you and you see back here in this wall that's where you want to tap it you don't want to hit the blades or the road or anything you want to push on the casing. All right, so reposition the camera so you get a better view. Do it, so you just put that in there. And voila, just like that. Popped out of the back, and you can just slide it right out. All right, so it's after you get this out, you want to inspect it, make sure there's no. You want to inspect it, so front of the face, make sure it's still nice and smooth. There's no major gouges or anything in it. And then you look at the blades or the rotors. And you look for any major gouges, chips missing, make sure it's not cracked, no major messed up parts there. It all looks pretty good. No gears and everything look good. So set that off to the side. Alright, so after you take those out, 
right inside there in the back two sl hole slots right there. Right there and right there. You have two needle bearings in there. What you can pull out, replace, clean up, regrease, do what you want. Anyways, so I got that off. Next piece I'm going to take off is in right in there. See so the throttle blade right in here for the bypass. You got two Phillips screws in there. So we're going to pull those off next. Phillips screwdriver. Two little screws. Don't that. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers. Grab the blade and just pull it right out. Voila. And after that, you got the rest of this smog stuff, and then. All that to take off, which is just two 10 millimeter bolts. So you take that off. Got two 10 mil bolts there. And this, you just gotta line up the slot there because that's pinched there. That slides are in there, but since we took the blade off, we can just pull it out like that. Leave that all connected. Two more 10 millimeter bolts. that. That one's broken so we don't really care about that. And we got this plate here. Two more 10 millimeter bolts. There. That's the side, and that will come with a spring. After that, yeah, this plastic piece and this one-way valve that sits on top of it, and the spring sits on top of that, and the plate over it. And then the last piece you got here, which is this piece here. This has a one single 10 millimeter bolt. Be very careful this bolt, it's a special bolt, you'll lose it, you're gonna have a hard time trying to find another one. Yeah, you just pull that out, and voila. This one's also broken, so that's garbage anyways. There. Now it's all apart. Other than this tube here. But I just gotta cut that off. Oh, some definitely aftermarket hose stuff that they put on there. And it was a pain they have to get off. But after that, they're all apart. You clean it up, change what you want to change. 
and I have two of these. I'm going to be modifying both of them for a single engine. That's why I decided to take this apart. Do a little video on it. Oh, there we are. So that's how you tear down a EN M90 supercharger. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you come back for the next video. Thank you again.